Hi YouTube, I'm making this video because I'm having a problem with the uh, GUI Pro HD 200U video camera and what it does is basically when I uh, record in HD and then I capture the footage with Premiere in Premiere um, it doesn't sync the uh, audio with the video so you know it's a really big problem for me but the problem the weird thing is about it is that um, the original file the MPEG um, after I capture it, if I play it by itself, you know, outside of Premiere, it plays fine. I'm sure I'm in. Video internet market is the only successful way to market any business. So this, you know, it's synced, but then over here... Video internet market is the only successful way to market any business. So you can see it's off, and then let's say if I uh, create a timeline, Right, and the video's here, same thing, you know, it's basically... Video off. internet market is the only successful way to market any business. Um, and then let's say even if I, if I sync, if I sync the sound, like I know what it is because I, I did it before, right, and it's off by nine milliseconds, I think, or whatever that is. All right. Video internet market is the only successful way to market any business. So now it's fine, uh, but then this is what happens if I pause <laughs> okay. in between. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, go. It is no longer enough to have a static website. <laughs> See, this is off again, because what I did basically in between these two shots, I, I pause. This is two different shots. <laughs> and in the camera, when I record it, I paused. So it's off again. So even if I want to edit into the timeline, you know, and I would sync the sound, you know, in the beginning, but then over here, it's off again. So it really messes me up. And it's a big pain in the butt. And I really do not understand why is it doing that. Now, the footage, uh, as you can see here, it shot at uh, 1280, 720 at 60 frames per second, 48 kilohertz sound um, per se. So the property is same. It's um, the format is MPEG-2, and it's 1280, 720, progressive frame, 59 frames, 48 kilohertz or hertz, whatever. Um, and the sequence the sequence settings are the same, 720, uh, 1280, 720, progressive, uh, 60 frames, 48, you know, kilohertz, whatever, or hertz. Um, this, the Kodak, I'm not sure what's going on. Like, it's, it's MPEG-1, but I know this camera is supposed to record in MPEG-2. So I don't know if I change this, it's not reversible, and it says it's going to delete my original files or something. So I don't know if that's the problem. And then over here, you know, standard, you know, I don't think this is gonna make any difference. I tried it before, actually it doesn't. So um, I really do not know what's going on with this and why is it doing that and it's really paying us for me. I mean, if you have to do a couple of clips, it's no big deal, you can sync them. Uh, but if you actually have to do a whole wedding or something, and then you have a lot of talking and stuff like that. It's really, really, you know, a pain in the butt. And I'm not sure if it's from the camera or it's from, you know, like I said, the Premiere or something with Premiere. But when you actually create a timeline like this, um, it's, it's native. Like it shows you, you know, you have no red or green or anything over here. You have no yellow or red. So that means that it's native footage and it should be set up as, as is the same as the, the original footage that you have. So I don't understand why is this not working properly and why is it doing this when, when like I said, the original, the original footage over here, it's synced. You know? <laughs> I <think Wow. laughs> so oh. I, I don't understand why this is okay, but then inside Premiere is not. It is no longer enough to have a static website. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, I mean, this, that's sync. It's out of Premiere, just playing off of my computer into with the VLC player. It doesn't matter what player I use, it's still fine. Uh, but inside here, when I want to edit, it's, it's off. So 
I don't know why is it like this. And um, basically, I'm trying to find a solution. And if you could help me, I appreciate it. Uh, you can email me. I'll put the description below of uh, my email and everything. And I'm also going to probably send this to GC and probably Adobe to find out exactly why is it doing this. Or maybe it's from the settings, something that I don't know. Uh, if you know Premiere better than me, I'm not that good at it. Uh, but, you know, I can use it. Uh, maybe you can help me out. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, hope to hear from you. Thank you.